first real repetitive signal you could see, and it looks like there's a coin in the plug right there. And I think there might be something else in the hole. So let's have a look here. No. So there you go. That's our first uh, coin for today. Oh no, it's not. It's a ring. Wow. Man, that looked like uh, a coin, didn't it? Man, that's, that's awesome. Look how old that seems to look. Nice little green stone there to match the grass. <laughs> but man, little kid's ring, that's awesome. Probably early 1900s. It's definitely not the 50s, I don't think, but man, that's pretty awesome. All right, Kirk's got a signal here. It was hitting a 45, 46, 47 on the legend. Which means on what, your 800, you've got what? Uh, it was mid 20s. Mid 20s? Deeper? A little deeper, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, I don't know about that, buddy. A little deep buckle. Nice little deep buckle. Brass, maybe, eh? I think so. Sweet, man. It's pretty deep down there's there. Much, there's no rust on it or nothing, so. No. That's nice. Yep. Yeah. Little Johnny's backpack right there, yeah, right <laughs> off the back of it. It's hitting now uh, 42, 43 consistent on the legend. Anyway, it wasn't down there, but it wasn't too deep either. Have a look. A little bit of a pocket watch uh, frame. Brass, copper, one or the other. Nothing significant, unfortunately, but still. Old relics here, and they're not too deep either, just under the surface. So I'd like to say there's no fill in here. It's just a matter of going over. Um, these sorts of relics and coins, they're not going to be too deep and hopefully we can get uh, some silver and some older coppers out of here, hopefully. So, but anyway, that's not too bad, eh? Oh, it's yeah, a that's Spartan nice. Junior on it. Wow, look at that. Killer, bud. No idea what it is. Spartan Junior. Should be able to Google that with some success, I would think. Yeah, exactly. Wow. So yeah, there you go, guys. I'll put some uh, information, top and bottom, in regards to what that is. A little bit of a hole in the middle of it. Not too heavy, to tell you the truth. No, it's, it's like thin copper or something. It was ringing up like copper. Yeah, wow, that's pretty intricate. Awesome. Anyway, on the Legend, uh, 43, 44. Pretty consistent for the most part. Anyway, down there, popped it. So we got something round in the hole right here. It looks like a, we've kind of had a quick gander before we've cleaned it off. It looks like a rosette type thing, but kind of Kurt, is. you want to do the honors, bud? Sure. Clean that off. Look at the detail on this side already. Oh, yeah. It's pretty heavy. Is it? Star it's, in the middle? It's fairly, oh, there's a lot of dirt packed in it, that's why. You can see that there was something steel on this side because yeah. of the amount of rust here, but the opposite side's copper or brass or something. It's all right, eh? Yeah. All right, on the legend, it was hitting a 45 46 consistent. Anyway, plug, dug, it's down in the hole still. So let's see what this is going to be. down here. Let's take out the rock. Let's take out some dirt and hopefully we got ourselves a coin. All right, we got something right down at the bottom of the hole here. What is that? Oh, Kirk! Oh no, it's not a coin. I thought it was going to be something big and round. Ah, oh, jeez. 
I thought it was going to be a large one of those Dragon Slayer pennies, but it's not. Clock part piece, bud. Oh, man. Popped up and it was all caked <laughs> with dirt, right? You could see it was big and round, but... Is that a, a lock it. cover or something? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm actually, you might be right, buddy. I don't know. Kind of looks like, no, I don't know. Maybe pocket watch, I don't know. What do you see? think? Yeah, sure. I don't know. It seems like it's steel. I don't know if they... Did they use steel on pocket watches? Oh, well, maybe it's not steel. I don't know. I don't it's know. got some age to it, right? Oh, whatever. It's not going to make you rich, that's for sure. No. Damn it. I thought I would have had a large copper in the hole. Oh, well. Let's keep moving. It was jumping all over the place. It was as low as 17 and as high as uh, 23, I think, or 24. Really, eh? But yeah, you did. There's, there's, there's something else in the hole. I think it's a nail or something. So that like might have been why thing. it was sending yeah. it off. So Nice, bud. Yeah, the first large sign of the day. And that was no deeper than that. No, it was, I had cleared, I, I had cleared dirt off of the plug to get and to it. was it. in there. It's in the plug. So, wow. Just I mean, the there's, surface. there's the thickness of the plug. So like crazy. four inches kind of thing. Yeah. Nice big one cent, bud. 1878. Sweet. Nice date. There's Vicky. A little worn on that side. There it is. And there's that. Uh, 1876, Kirk. Is it six? Yeah, it's an H. -er. Watch yourself. Yep. That's an H? Yep. It's only my second one. Sweet, buddy. You got your other one with me, didn't you? Yep. Probably a nail. That's, yeah, that's a nail, isn't it? Yeah, it's bent. It's bent square now. Nail and Larsen. Same that, hole. That explains why it was, uh, the signal was so jumpy. Yeah. Awesome. What's your recovery speed on that, you know? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's five. That's not five cheap. out of seven, I believe is what it oh, is. So that's not bad then. So it's probably comparable to maybe about a seven on the uh, the legend or an eight. So pretty high. But man, look at that. I mean, that's the benefit of using a higher recovery speed in an area like this, where you're getting some good old targets that are shallow. You don't need the depth. You can take a little bit of heat. Uh, you can take a little bit of a hit on the depth while having quicker recovery speed. There you go. Large copper nail, same hole. I don't know, it looks a little smaller. I don't think, I think mm. it's your, your old eyes are just playing tricks on you. Yeah, maybe, eh? Well, there it is. It was coming off of 44, 45 on the legend. And it's, yeah, it's a large scent. For a second there. Oh, it's a Vicky. Nice. Sweet, man. Oh, that's in good condition, too. That should be a 58. Nope. Jesus, Kirk. <laughs> what day do you think it is? <laughs> uh, well, it's not a 58. Uh, oh. Let's go uh, 1869. Uh, <laughs> Why don't we go in 1876H? Yeah, that was close. Isn't that what I just found? Yes. I thought you would have picked that when I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, crazy, eh? Same, exact same date. Uh. Wow, right at the bottom there. Let's get the angle just right with the lighting. But yeah, just under the surface again, Vicky. How many garages on it if there is one? If there is? I think, uh, it's, I think it's a sheriff there maybe or something. All right, on the legend hitting uh, 44, 45 consistent. Anyway, look what came out of the hole. Sorry. It's all right. We had a little bit of a badge here. And as you can see here, R-I-F-F, -F, sheriff. All right, Kirk, do it, buddy. Is it heavy? Uh, it's heavier than I expected. Hmm. It's it's definitely not tin, that's for sure. Let's clean it up pretty good. Crazy. Have a look. Two little guys in the middle there, eh? Yeah. Sweet man. What about the other side? Okay, so, so a pin must have went there, yeah, right? There was a there was a pin and it was that kind that uh sort of locks into the loop. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, this this actually has a bit of weight to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's surprising. 
So there you go. It doesn't feel like aluminum or anything like that. But yeah, sheriff. The sheriff's in town. <laughs> it's a pretty nice score, eh? Just yeah, right like, there, like seriously, like right beside the road area here. It's right on the hill. That sucker came out. Sweet. All right, me and Kirk uh, switched locations. Still got the legend pumping at uh, recovery speed 10. Anyway, coming down here under a big tree and just right down there, not too deep under the surface. Look what I scored. Right here. So, but it looks like. Or the top of a ring or something? Yeah, it looks like the top of a ring of some sort. Oh yeah. Yep. Okay. Is it one of those mood rings? I'm not sure. Here, have a look. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because I remember um, the mood rings, they were all adjustable, right? Yeah. And I found one like this, uh, I don't know, it was last year or the year before. Unfortunately, the mood ring part of it didn't work anymore, but it looked pretty much just like this. Just similar? Yeah. It's got a good weight to it as well, but there's the front. That's pretty awesome, man. Beauty. Yeah, first, first dig, first target. Yeah. Since I've been here, I got this. Man, awesome. All right, legend. Doing pretty good, actually. Recovery speed 10. I'm actually running the sensitivity on this pretty high. You can see right there, what am I at? 26. And a really tight discrimination pattern right there, right in the middle of your screen. But uh, I'm cherry picking here. And even so, I'm at recovery speed 10. It's supposed to decrease your depth. I'm running the sensitivity 26 out of 30. I could even push it to 28. So really, I'm running super fast recovery speed and I'm really not losing too much depth for that matter. Anyway, dug a plug right at the very bottom of the hole, about eight, nine, 10 inches. I pulled an old button out. It's pretty plain, shank's gone. Now, where I'm detecting here is the first time I'm using the Legend with those settings. Uh, I've had an E-Track over here. I've had uh, AT Pros. Um, I have an Equinox 800 just with the stock coil uh, with Kurt today. This place has been pounded and they pulled out 1700 stuff. And the last couple of times that even Kirk's been here, nothing really pretty, pretty tough pickings. But I'm hoping, as I said, recovery speed 10 and running high sensitivity so it's slightly hot. I'm gonna pick stuff like this out. All right, running out of steam here a little bit. But anyway, ran after a signal here. Legend was trying to pick it up. So it wasn't a bad signal. I pretty much decided to run after it. And there is an edge in the hole. And I don't know if you could see it, depending on the sun angle. It's right here at the end of my finger. There's actually something round. Right here. So, I don't know if this is a button or a coin. It's a button. Looks like it's fried. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Might have something around it. It definitely doesn't seem like it's smooth. You can see a little bit of design coming through, unless I'm seeing it wrong. But the other side's pretty much fried. Shank's gone, peeling, but definitely could be an interesting button, to say the least. But anyway, sketchy signal. Run after those suckers. Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't